Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins and I'm here today to show you how to make this beautiful card with this gorgeous uh, gold, kind of ephemera looking piece, a beautiful translucent butterfly on the top of your card. Now I've created this card mostly using my Cricut Joy for uh, the butterfly and for the wording and then I've brought in some of my paper crafting tools, so my alcohol pens, my distress oxides and such so you can also be making this at home this is a reasonably simple step-by-step -step tutorial i hope you enjoy it and i hope it inspires you to get something a little bit different out of one of the tools that comes in the box that very often i think a lot of crafters probably put aside rather than using straight away so let's get straight on with how we created this gorgeous butterfly so we're going to start our project with a piece of material called heat resistant acetate. Now this you'll find on Craft Stash. There's a few different brands of it. Um, you might want to look for something like heat embossing acetate, um, heat resistant acetate. There's a few different names for it. Um, but yeah, give acetate a search on Craft Stash. You'll soon find that. Um, and I've cut a sheet that is the perfect size for my Cricut Joy mat. So it's filling the grid. So I know that wherever I work on this grid, I'm going to capture the acetate because it's clear. It's a little bit harder to see, but it's stuck on there just in the same way as you would if you were sticking cardstock down. Then I've gone into my Cricut Design Space and I've chosen this beautiful butterfly image from Craft Stash. Um, and this is a beautiful file that you can just use time and time and time again. You can also print this off on your printer as well if you want to. Um, you can resize it to any size. If you want to make this huge, as long as your machine that you're printing or cutting it or drawing it from allows, uh, you can do that. So um, I've got this butterfly onto my canvas workspace. Um, and I'm using it almost as large as the mat, really quite large, um, because I want to make this a focal point on my card. So rather than cutting this image, I'm going to change the operation to draw with a pen. So you see there you actually get uh, double lines there. And then I'm going to send this to my Cricut Joy and click Make It. Now I just need to check that that is going to fit on my mat as you can see there it does fit perfectly and I can continue to send that to my machine. If you're new to Cricut Joy and all of this is a little bit daunting you can of course uh, check back our video series we're doing a beginner video series that takes you through every element of a uh, Cricut design space starting with your machine and all the basics so make sure you follow along with that. Now I'm going to be drawing onto um, acetate, so I'm going to scroll down all my material choices right down to the bottom to window cling. They don't have acetate as an option, but window cling is kind of the closest sort of material. So I'm going to now load my pen and my mat into my machine. When you first get your Cricut Joy, you'll have the blade already installed. So you can open and take your blade out and simply pop your Cricut Joy pen in. Now this comes in the box, so if you are a beginner and this is the first time you've uh, ever used a Cricut Joy, you'll find that in the bottom of your box there. Simply take the lid off, pop it into the holder and close the holder to secure the pen and you'll see that's there uh, nice and sturdy for you. And then you need to load your mat. So with the acetate on, simply guide your mat into the machine and that will just start aligning everything for you. Once that's aligned, you can simply click go on your uh, Cricut design space and the machine will start doing its thing. Now this process does take a little while, so um, give it a moment to think about it, to connect with the machine and then to start drawing. Once it starts drawing, as I say, it is um, a slow process depending on the size and the detail of your image. I've got a really detailed image here, so best to set this doing its thing and go off and maybe play with making the base of your card for a little while. So there's my butterfly all drawn out. Now just so you know if you're doing a large image something that takes even longer than this which I have done in the past um, by the time the image is finished some of the first pieces the ink has, starts to pull just a little bit um, but so far I've not had an issue with the next step even if that started to happen. So just gent very gently peeling this off and making sure that I don't touch the ink on there. Let's now just 
put our pen away. So put the lid back on, pop our blade back in. There we go. And I can put the Cricut to the side. And if I just put this onto some white cardstock, you'll be able to see the design there. Absolutely beautiful. Now you can make your own ephemera like this if you want, but what I'd suggest is you then, because we've done this on um, heat resistant acetate, you then emboss this ink. So I'm going to open up a scrap of cardstock with a fold in the middle to capture my uh, excess embossing powder. I've got Wow here. This is a uh, gold powder. And I'm just going to sprinkle this all over the design. Now my gold is running low, so that's all I've got. So I need to shake this over the design, make the most of it, make sure I capture every part. And because it's acetate, you get a little bit of static. So pop that on and then just give this a flick. And this will release any of the powder that's in areas that are not on the design. So I've got a little bit of drag there. So just take a look around I'm happy with that so I'm going to just put the excess powder back into my pot and then I'm going to heat set that beautiful butterfly and like I say again just to reiterate I am using heat resistant acetate you can't do this onto normal acetate or shrink plastic or anything like that because unfortunately the pl plastic the acetate will simply just shrivel up so you do need heat resistant for this technique so just using my tweezers to hold that still and i'm just going to heat set this and there we go we have a beautiful embossed butterfly onto clear acetate now if you wanted to you could have run the Cricut Joy around this with the blade afterwards um, but I prefer to cut it out by hand particularly if I'm working onto a background where I may just want the wings lifted up for example but I do find it easier to do the next part of this technique uh, still with a background to hold on to. So again I'm going to bring this onto some white paper for you so you can see what I'm doing. Ensure that has all cooled. I'm going to turn it over now you can see we've got a slightly more dull image here so we've got the gorgeous gold metallic and this is the underneath where you've you had the black pen now I'm going to take some um, alcohol pens and this is really important that you use alcohol pens and not just any sort of coloring pen or water-based pen because that will be resisted by the acetate so I'm going to go for some blues, greens and purples here. Um, I've got a mixture of different alcohol pens. It doesn't matter too much which ones you use as long as they have alcohol base to them. And I'm just going to start colouring in sections of this butterfly with my pens. Don't forget I'm working on the reverse as well and I'm going to keep everything symmetrical. So there's my coloured in butterfly and if I turn that over, you see how beautiful that then looks with the gold around the edge. Now what I love about using acetate is you also then get a stained glass effect where if you lift this up underneath you can see the colours come through which is so pretty. Now I'm just going to take some scissors and trim around the edge of this. Now I want to keep my card base quite simple because I want the butterfly to be the main attraction. So what I've done is I've gone around my card base here with some low tack tape all the way around just to mask off a bit of a frame. And I'm just going to lightly brush in a little bit of lilac or purple um, into the base, just a tiny bit. Like I say, it's just framing the card and it's going to echo the purple that I put into the butterfly. This way the teal on the butterfly, that alcohol ink that I did, the blues and the teals, will still stand out. So it's still going to all match, but it's not going to uh, allow the butterfly to kind of blend into the background at all. So being very uh, loose and pretty carefree with this, not worrying too much about perfect blending or anything like that. I'm just going to go around the edges like so. And then uh, something I do like to do very often is just take a little bit of water and do a few little water splats as well, just into that ink blending. Now there's not a lot there, but it's just going to add a bit of texture to the little bit that I have done. So allow the water to sit on there just for a few moments um, and then take a piece of uh, as absorbent towel, something like I've got here, a piece of kitchen towel should be absolutely fine just to lift off the excess excess moisture 
and give us a little bit of a speckled look. So I did pop the low tack tape onto my uh, trousers. I've got some fluffy trousers on today, or sort of tracksuit bottoms. So I uh, pop them on. So you've got lots of black fluff around there on the tape, which is ideal, but hopefully you can see the speckles. So now I can carefully uh, lift up and remove my tape. I just need to remember which side I put down last. There we go. Now doing this ever so gently and slowly so as not to peel up any of the fibres of the cardstock underneath. There we go. So I've got my frame and my butterfly is going to sit on there. Now lastly, what I have done for my sentiment is on my Cricut Joy, I've taken one of the preloaded fonts and just typed the word hi. I duplicated it so I had two of them once they were at, it was at the size that I wanted and I just offset the uh, outline for this one and welded them together so that I've got a nice background now. So there we have finished card so I just glued that sentiment on um, obviously I've got my butterfly attached only by the body so the lings can, uh, the wings can lift up <laughs> and I've also got some beautiful gold pearls just scattered around to give that hint of gold elsewhere on the card. So this is a pretty card that you can be making with your Cricut Joy using uh, the elements that are already in the box if you just buy the basic machine. You don't need to particularly buy the foiling elements. You just then need to revert back to your paper crafting tools, things like your embossing powder and your alcohol pens, which many crafters have in their stash already. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget as well, if you are a complete beginner and you've uh, got a Cricut Joy, not got it out of the box yet, hardly used it, um, maybe a bit wary of using it, you can refer back to our uh, series. where We're doing video series which takes you through uh, taking your machine out of the box, setting it up, getting started with it, and then making the most of it and making beautiful projects like this. Thank you for joining me everybody and I'll see you again very very soon on the Craft Stash YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe for more. Craft Stash is the ultimate destination for card making and digital crafting supplies and guess what we've got the best price guarantee on both our UK and US websites. Join our VIP club to unlock exclusive benefits and savings on every order and check out the description below for all the links.